Let me describe my first week in Canada in a few words. So I had to pass some medical tests as a new immigrant. I called to the clinic and booked an appointment at doctor's office. And I came, I passed the blood test. And when I came back to the reception, I was given a piece of paper, like kind of form to fill some information. And I filled all the necessary information and I am showing this piece of paper to the girl at the reception and I am asking her, what am I going to do with this shit? Basically, it was written on a piece of paper, like the medical shit. Um, but for me, as to the not native speaker, shit and shit pronounces absolutely uh, similar. And I decided to make the situation worse. And I uh, tried to explain that I mean not that shit. So I sincerely hope that I will not need to go to that office ever again. Hello, guys, and welcome to my new video. Thank you so, so much for all of your heart melting, warming and welcoming comments like hello, welcome to Canada. I spent here almost two weeks and um, I have so much to share. When I was only gathering stuff and preparing uh, moving to Canada, I planned to start doing paperwork right immediately after arriving. I was incredibly scared to even imagine what it is going to be because bureaucracy in Ukraine is a total nightmare. Bureaucracy in Europe is a total nightmare. And I was expecting the same level of hell here. But here I was very pleasantly surprised because I started doing three very important papers like within one day. And now I'm just waiting for all of these papers to arrive on my mail. I noticed one little detail. So when you are standing in a queue and waiting for your turn, um, every time I was standing in queue to, for some paper or for some question, there is a person that is working in this place that is coming to each client and asking how can I help you, what is your problem um, and uh, for example if you are standing and if you are wanting asking to ask only one question for example you're not sure where to go or you're not sure if you have all of the papers like you have like only one question to ask this person can help you and give you some instructions or can lead you to some I don't know, office, um, and you will not need to stand the whole queue just to ask one question. There is no such service in Ukraine, uh, because in Ukraine you have only two option, options. You can wait until your turn and wait for a long time in the queue and then ask your short questions, question and to receive uh, answer. Um, or you can try your luck and to try to go ahead of the queue and to ask a question. And you need to assure everyone in the queue that you, you are going only to ask one question um, because you, the, you need to reassure everyone in the queue that you will not take a lot of time. And people in Ukraine hate this. And actually, uh, after this, you have zero chances to come to come back home alive. So it, it means for me as for foreigner, it, it makes a, a big difference. You feel like, like people care about your problem and that they are really trying to help you and to fix it, I don't know, to make it easier for you. One more thing, my hair attracts so much attention on the streets. Um, I'm very surprised because it never happened in Ukraine or in Europe. Um, a lot of people, mostly women, 
uh, really like come to me and like say compliments about my hair and start asking what I'm using to like keep it in like good condition, like etc. etc. How do I grow it? Um, some life hacks, and it is very like pleasant for me that like, women come and like say compliments. Um, it, it is very unusual because uh, like. In Ukraine, nobody complimented, and in uh, Europe, where I've been, nobody said even one compliment about my hair. Actually, in Ukraine, many women and girls tend to grow long hair, um, so it's just very normal to have very long hair, so that's it. So, uh, yesterday I was in supermarket, and there was um, a girl with a very curly hair, um, and she was like started to compliment to say compliments about my hair and she asked like what do you do for your hair and I when I go outside and talk with, with real people I feel very very stressed and my English is so so bad when I'm stressed I literally cannot remember words and uh, what I did I just said to her I wash my hair and use conditioner that was all. That was all that I was capable to answer. And after I realized that it was stupid in, in situation and it was very awkward, I started laughing and she started to laugh as well. And like, it was very funny and like everything went well, but um, you know, I need some time to like adapt and to, to get used to talking to people on the street. Actually, today I had pretty stressful day. Some things are not um, going to resolve very quickly, and I'm very stressing about this. Um, and uh, in general, this day was a little bit <clears throat> hard. Um, so I'm going to take you on a walk to the supermarket and uh, to take out some to say to take some hot wings in honey sauce I bought chicken wings in hot sauce. Not sure that I'm going to eat them on camera because it's going to be a total mess. Mm. But I am going to treat myself after the video. Um, and uh, I hope this day will end a little bit better for me. I think that food topic deserves a separate video, maybe even two videos. So if you like my adapting to Canada kind of vlogs, I will be happy to film these videos for you. But the next video uh, will be not about food, it will be not the vlog, it will be the video update about my game, where I will tell more about one of the characters. So it is the right time to hit the bell button if you didn't yet and to subscribe to my channel of course and i hope in general in general that you will not miss next video so thank you so much for being with me 
I hope you enjoyed this time um, and my kind of cringy stories. And I will see you in the next video.